Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Building Endeavour video. We're going to start this week's video with the rudder operating tackle. So to do this I have to attach eye bolts and the 4 mil rigging blocks. So let's get on with that now. Alright, so I'm going to begin by marking out uh, where the drill points will be. I know roughly where they're going to be. Uh, so I'm just going to be quite clear with this black pencil marking. All right. Okay, so I'll drill holes for those. Next, I need to prepare these rigging blocks for tying into position. This is how the prepared block looks, uh, but I'll finish the rest of these off camera. All right, so the next step's gonna be rather time consuming. I'll put it on time lapse, fit all these rigging bolts, and for you, it'll seem rather instantaneous. For me, it's gonna take a little longer. All right, so let's get on to the time lapse. Now to put on the 0.5 millimeter rope. the rudder operating tackle finished. Next we're going to have a go at making the four channel dead eyes which go here. Um, just as a side the uh, four mast isn't glued in just yet. I've just put it there resting for now. We will we'll get on some the four mast a little later in this video where I need to put some more rigging blocks on here. Uh, anyway I need to cut some of this brass rod and uh, in 50, no, 60 mil lengths. So we'll start with that now. Okay, now to try and straighten each piece, just have to do this by rolling. This sand is okay. Um, let's see how that works. Only has to be fairly approximate. That's quite straight. So that's worked quite well. Now what I have to do is wrap the ends, curl them around each of these dead eyes. Okay, so we'll do that in the time lapse. Okay, all I have to do now is make another six of these. Mm, I think you need my magic wand again. That's a lot better. Next, I need to drill a one millimeter hole to accept each of these channel links in the hull of the ship. I'm gonna mark it in pencil first. All right, 
right so this is one of the rigging channel channels there has to be a bend uh, so it's 18 millimeters down from underneath I'm just going to mark this one and then transfer that measurement to the others okay fiddly to do uh, and as you may notice I think you've seen it in the slow mo I did break one and I had to remake that one uh, anyway it's all good now now I have to simulate the uh, bolts that retain these chains underneath it all I'm going to do is drill a little hole and put one of these uh, pins in and that gives it the right required effect so let's get on with that See, the effect is quite good. It's called the Preventer Link Bolt. Now I need to do exactly the same on the other side, but I won't do that on camera. It's just the same thing and repeated, obviously. Okay, so I'll get on with that. So now there's the starboard side completed as well. So before we leave this part of the build, these uh, chain link wires have to be painted black. Uh, I've already put some masking tape down to protect the ship's hull because um, we'll be working really close to it. So let's get on with that next. And the same on the other side. Now let's get back to working on the foremast. We're going to put some of the eyes and the rigging box in place. So to do this, I'm going to follow the plan, measure out all the drilling points for these rigging blocks and a couple of cleats that have to go on as well and a dead eye down at the lower end here. Also, there's two uh, cleats that are painted black that need to go on here as well, which I've missed off. So I need to do those. So let's get on with that. Next, I have to prepare all these rigging blocks and pulley blocks, which looks like that. Time to attach them.
Okay, so here is the uh, finished foremast so far, minus the yards of course. There's all the, the rigging blocks and pulley blocks in place. Uh, and on the top gallant, all the blocks as well that are required. So if you do enjoy these videos, please do leave a like and remember to subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video where we'll be uh, tackling the anchors, putting those into place and the boat supports. Okay, so until next week, bye for now.